Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This reading is, yep, I took the makeup off. I can't, can't wear it for right now. God, I got stuff to do tomorrow and I gotta have my eyes clear. So. <laughs> got no makeup on. It's gonna be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, 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 okay. If you would like a personal reading, please check the box below. Let's see what's going on, Scorpio. I know what's going on. I know what's going on. You hiding. Ooh, getting a wish. Whatever you wishing for, you're getting it. And I think it's freaking you out a little bit. Um, yeah. And this is not to say for other, you know, other people's issues. So don't take on other other people's issues as your own, Scorpio. Okay? You and Pisces both have a habit of doing that. You are creating a whole new world for yourself right now. And you need to stay on that trajectory. We have a six of wands here. So somebody may be drinking a little too much. Just saying. But... They're getting a lot of attention. They're getting lots of people paying attention to them. And I don't even think they understand why. It's because you're glowing, baby. You're glowing. And people are seeing your glow. There may be a contract or something of that nature coming into your reality. And it is a choice that you must make. Or your future something you wasn't quite sure if you wanted for the past and something you definitely dropped a while ago and it doesn't have to be love this could be a job this could be a career this could have something to do with your entire creation of the matrix remember if well if you weren't in my live you don't remember but we had a we had a a, a discussion on the two paths you can go down you can go down the destruction or the construction i feel like that is the choice that you're being presented with right now scorpio you can continue to destruct or you can reconstruct or you can con keep constructing there's really no middle middleman there uh oh and the first card to pop out to clarify is the stick the six of pentacles and the king of pentacles Ooh. scorpio what is this is somebody offering to pay you for sex or paying you for sex because I damn sure know that you wouldn't be paying nobody for sex because <laughs> no. look at what's on the bottom you know the devil's on the bottom so there's some some kind of attachment here sparkly stuff something all right could be a Capricorn Definitely sparkly. And somebody's obsessed sexually. Somebody is very, very obsessed the six in a, in a sexual way. And they're willing to spend every last dollar to get what they desire. Mm. Watch out. That could cause stalker issues, guys. I'm just saying. What's the hair fun about? Okay. So, Scorpio... same thing that is in your energy now is your challenge there's love here but somebody's very confused about that I think it's whoever you're dealing with. We do have Taurus and Aquarius, Pisces, 
Leo on the board so far. Yeah, somebody, somebody's not doing so well financially. I think it's whoever. I'm lost here. Give me a minute, guys. Oh, so this isn't you. This isn't you. This is the person that you're dealing with. Whoever this person is, they're in love with you. They think. They're holding on to you for some reason. And I almost feel like it's, it, it is for financial gain. But they have no idea what they're doing in the love department. It reminds me of the guy with the zeros and the ones. He knows how to speak in zeros and ones, but not in emotions. That will simply not do for a Scorpio. Scorpio wants to know your innermost desires. They don't want to play this game of hide and seek. That's toxic to a Scorpio. I mean, they like the good chase, you know, but they like to be the one to be chased. They don't like to be the chaser. And that may be where you're at with this. You may be like, that's too much work. Sorry. But your, your, your challenge here, I, I think it's more of a challenge for whoever you're dealing with. I don't think this is even your challenge. I think this is this king of pentacles, nine of pentacles, dude or chick. It's their challenge. I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. Cause all I know is zeros and ones And I have no clue as to what it is Cause I'm a computer nerd and I don't know any better <sighs> What do we do with this? Scorpio I guess we put that bitch on block Make the choice to not choose and juggle the, our own damn selves Work Work, 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 work. I feel like, Scorpio, you do feel like you're stuck in a situation that you don't want to be in. Something that you did wish for. Something that you chose. And now you're juggling your way, trying to figure a way to get out of it. You're working your ass off. I'll tell you that much right now. But I think it's got you stuck in your head too much because we get the Eight of Swords here and we get the Nine of Swords in this, as in the next card. You're worrying too much about something you don't need to worry about here. If you're worried about your wish coming true, it's coming true, baby. Whatever it is that you wished for, it's coming true. You turned something down in the past because you, you felt like you deserved better. And you do. And here it comes. And it's your challenge. It will get you unstuck. However, it's very stressful. Like I said, it could be a work situation. It could be starting a business. And that could be putting some stresses on your finances and your home life. But you're manifesting the hell out of whatever you're doing. And it's almost like you don't care who you got to tear through to get it. Mm -mm. We were talking about this in the live. Sparkly, glittery, shiny. You earned this. Whatever this is coming in for you, this Ace of Pentacles, this Six of Pentacles, you earned this through waiting and uh, wading through the sharks I should say because 
We have people who are trying to humiliate you here. We've got people who are trying to breadcrumb you here. This is the factors affecting the situation. That's why you're not trusting anybody. You're not trusting anybody. You're ready to fight a bitch. Because there's enough. Somebody's just doing way too much here. It's like, it's like they're just going way, way overboard to try to stop you from getting what you want. Whoever you are, you might want to stop that now. Otherwise, you're going to wear it. Okay? Scorpio is busting their ass. Losing sleep. Trying to get to where they want to be, which is the star energy. And this is the factor affecting the situation. You best get out of this Scorpio's way. I'm going to tell you that much right now. Could be a Cancer or an Aquarius. Work again. You better get out of Scorpio's way. This is a brand new beginning. Their hands are tied in love, though. Y'all's got some issues in the love department. But I think uh, as far as your career goes, nobody better get in your way. They might be really sorry for that. Yeah. Apologies, children. You love your children. Of course you love your children. You want to be strong for your children. Sometimes you can't always be the strongest for your children, no matter how hard you try. Like I said, the outside influence here is the Leo card, the strength card. Feeling like your hands are tied behind your back when it comes to time. Time to love your children, time to do your thing, time to enjoy the fruits of your labor. But you're about to jack up from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. This is transforming. Okay, this is like mid transformation here. Keep your balance, Scorp. Keep your balance. Things are about to turn around. Wish granted. And you may have an apology coming from somebody. Um. Like I said, there's definitely children involved here. Either that or you guys are of a significant age difference. And I don't mean five years. See through the illusion, Scorpio. I told you that before. Break through that glass ceiling. Because whatever person you're dealing with right now, they are stalking you. They're obsessed with you. They're watching your social media. You cut a bitch. Now they're hurt. Now they're watching you even more obsessively. Because you cut them. Because you said bye. And now they're like even twice as obsessed as they were before. They expected you to chase them. You didn't. Like I said, ain't nobody got time for that. I ain't got the energy to even think about that. You want me, baby? You know my number. If I want you, you still got my number. If I don't want you, your ass is blocked. Because you screwed up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, come the apology. Somebody's finally listened to, listening to their intuition. I got Pisces. I got Leo. I got Gemini here. They want to fix this with you, Scorpio. The page and the king, there's definitely a significant age difference. And since this is the lovers coming out, it is one of those relationships that is challenging to say the least
even though this person is a page, you know, young, they've got a lot of wisdom. They've created something very, very significant for themselves. They may be your 10th pentacle, Scorpio, if you're single. They may be that 10th pentacle you're looking for. Now, this could be a colleague. It doesn't have to be a lover. Just because lovers is here, that's the only reason why I'm getting that. But I do feel like this is more professionally involved than it is, you know, uh, relationship involved because there's a lot of money on the table here. And somebody's about to apologize and give you what you deserve. I don't think they've been doing that. And you're finally figuring it out that, you know, I want what I deserve. Or bye, you know. I'm too good for you to, to, let, to treat me like this. I ain't got no time. I ain't got no energy. I ain't chasing shit. I think you're getting ready to buy a new car, too. Somebody's getting ready to buy a new car. So I do have the numbers 10, 10, 10 and 4, 4, 4. That tells me if something's over with a home life. And you're being supported by the community in your occupation. Ooh. Um, Scorpio. I, I want you to know this from the bottom of my heart that I sympathize with you. Um, I empathize with you on this situation. But I feel like somebody either just passed or is passing. It's going to lead you down another road. If you allow it. But I don't know if you want to go down that road. Somebody in the community. It feels like they're about to work themselves to death. Why am I feeling embezzlement here? They could have lost their job. Somebody here may have embezzled a lot of money and they're trying to get away now. So be careful of whoever this person is. They may take you down the wrong path. Because I think they just embezzled a whole bunch of money from wherever they were at, quit their job, and now are planning on bolting. And you're right in the middle of this, so you need to be very, very careful about who your associations are with at this time. If you're associating with anybody, I'm hiding. And pretty much, I know most of my Scorpios are hiding. But whoever you're dealing with here... Like I said, it could be somebody really young. And they might have just pulled a no-no. Something that could get them in a lot of trouble. Don't react from a place of pain, Scorpio. React from a place of balance. Because you are going to find out about this person. I think you're paying very much attention. You're very aware of what you're doing right now. You're not allowing somebody to 
manipulate or dictate to you how you're supposed to feel but you are in that kind of lost energy because of heartbreak in the past there is somebody here the real twin flame that's been watching oh my god this is why it had to work out the way it did Scorpio so your real twin flame has been watching you waiting for you to ascend because the ending of your old is going to bring this new beginning clarity truth revocation solidarity force power protection so look 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 this is the way it should roll with twin flames this is exactly what should be done whether you're male or female is it no matter who's got the money or that don't that don't matter somebody is offering protection power security because they've been watching you ascend and they want to be with you through this ascension this is a true twin flame you have two choices choose wisely Scorpio choose wisely because one of these people is a scam artist and they just ripped off some, a company or something like that for a lot of money and that's the only reason why they got money now if they didn't have any money before that's the only reason why they got money now so be very, very careful with that energy. You don't want to end up in a pokey because of somebody else's bullshit. And you, they will get caught. I mean, there's no possible way not to leave a trace anymore these days. Everything is digital. Everything is money. You know what I'm saying? Everything is like... Um, you know what I mean? Everything is pretty much, pretty much online. So, and, and this person, you may not have met them yet. But they've been watching you. And they are your true twin flame. They were waiting for you to ascend. So you could have this new beginning with them. And they were going to bring you truth and clarity. Justice, honor, power, protection. I'd say no later than October, you are going to meet this person. For your birthday right when Pisces goes back in Jupiter goes back into Pisces that might be Scorpio season this is gonna come full circle you're gonna end up getting over this other person and as soon as you let go of that like I said, this person's already watching you, which is kind of creepy. But they watched you bring yourself back from basically death. They're very impressed. They're very impressed with your progress. Whether this be somebody that you work with or somebody that you're in love with, or, or I should say is in love with you, because I don't even think you know who this person is. Either that or you guys just haven't met yet. You're about to meet them. Past life soulmates. That's all I can say. You guys, are going to recognize each other as soon as you see each other it's gonna be it's gonna be that telepath thing I, I, I talk about you're gonna meet this person you're gonna look at them and you go oh that makes so much more sense <laughs> then um, somebody who says I just want to move in with somebody who's a pleasure to be around Eh, wrong answer. 
<laughs> nah, not for Scorpio. Wrong answer. You're gonna have to do more than that, baby doll. And I think this new person coming in is willing to do all and any. Or at least equal. They've done the work. Whoever this person was in the past, they lost their chance. You're already moving on to something new and something better. So, whoever you are, sorry, so sorry, not sorry, because you, you, you're the one that blew it. I can't see, I can't see where Scorpio blew it here. Scorpio tried. Unless Scorpio is the one humiliating you and breadcrumbing you, it could be that way around. I don't know. Like I said, that's why you take it how it resonates. That's why I don't say, I, I just say who's who the way I see it. But if it's that if it's flip flop energy, I got nothing to do with that. Okay, it's, it's that that's just how it resonates. You might be this person watching the Scorpio. You might be this twin flame watching the Scorpio or watching this video, and I might be doing the reading for you. Just saying, Aries, I pretend you don't mean that much. <laughs> Definitely don't pretend. Taurus, I do wish you well. Oh, thank you. Gemini, I'm not coming back. <laughs> Cancer, I lied to you. I know you did. Leo, you are not part of my plan. Bitch. Virgo, you can't come with me. Who said I wanted to? Libra. I am different now. Mm, sure you are. Sure you are. Scorpio. I pretend that I don't care that much. Do you now? Sagittarius. I don't really know you. You didn't try. You're, you're bad, not mine. Gotta go now. Bye bye. Capricorn, I forgive you. For what? Aquarius, I need to focus on my healing. Okay. I'll accept that. Pisces, you didn't imagine it. You didn't imagine it, Scorpio. I think you got a Pisces in love with you. But I don't know if you've even met them or not. This might be something brand new. Definitely some twin flame action. A new journey, a new lesson. I don't know. You're going to have to find out. Because it's too late for the rest of these bitches. You're done. You're, you're folding this chapter closed. You are not reopening any old chapters. So whoever this new person is, is the one. It says meeting the one. Twin flames. Somebody has been watching you. Watching you ascend from death to a rebirth. From an ending to a new beginning. And facing the truth of who you are. And for that, you are protected and you are powerful. So whoever this false twin is or this false person is, like I said, you'll know because they'll have a lot of money and they'll be spending it. They'll be spending it like it's water. On dumb shit too. I'm seeing some dumb shit bought here. Some like stupid money, stupid like rubber duckies. I mean, I don't know why I'm getting rubber duckies, but they, it's that that's about the equivalent of what this person is buying uh, as far as usefulness with all this money. That's how you know how you need to get away from this person. 
It might look good. It might be all shiny. We already discussed this in the live about how shiny things are just shiny things. And what is real is real. What is fake is fake. It's just shiny. It's just sparkly. And so I feel like you've got two people here. One of them is the significant age difference. And one of them is flashing around a lot of money, acting like they got it like that. When really they embezzled it from wherever they worked and they quit their job after they embezzled it. And they're going to get caught. So it's good. They need, they need to, you need to get away from that person. I mean, let them spend money on you. I mean, but I think they're not spending money on anything tangible. They're spending money on like renting cars and, and, and just things that are not that, and, and traceable traceable things things that are not of the you know like the the program I mean if you're gonna steal that kind of money from a place you work for wouldn't you want to just get out of town wouldn't you want to be like bye and go on go to another, another country and have a good time go somewhere where there's no expedition But this person is just hanging around spending stupid money like they got it. So you, you can't fix stupid, Scorpio. No matter how hard you try, darlings. You can't fix stupid. There ain't nothing you can do about stupid. Alright. Well, those are your messages. I love you guys. I'll see you Tuesday. This is your Monday's read, but I'm going to go ahead and put it up, okay? I love you. I'll talk to you soon.